Hi there and welcome to Digging Deep. My name is Casey and on this beautiful Thursday I wanted to come and talk to you, you guessed it, once again about UFOs and aliens because our media and our government just can't seem to stop talking about it. And that is the reason that I keep doing these videos to bring to light the real reason that we keep seeing this talked about by our government and media. You see, there is an agenda behind all of this, and as believers, we need to be aware of what it is. This is not just something being talked about in America, but now we see that the UK media is also mentioning it as well, and we will get into all of that in a minute, but first, I want to show you some scriptures before we get into these articles. So if you have your Bible with you, turn with me to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We're going to read verses 9 through 12. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. We know from reading the book of Acts that God allowed the disciples to bear witness to them with signs and wonders through the gift of the Holy Ghost that was given to them at Pentecost. And Satan, he creates nothing, but he copies everything that our God does. And I believe that he is going to use UFOs, UAPs, or aliens, whatever you want to call it, to deceive the people on this earth. And that is why I believe that the Holy Spirit continues to have me talk about it to you, because we must be wise in this world of deception that we are living in. Aliens are fallen angels, and we must never forget it. Now, whether Satan will use UFO or aliens to cover up things when the rapture happens, or if he will just use them to deceive the people, we do not fully know yet. But I did a video a while back on how he might possibly try to use an alien invasion to explain the rapture. And if you are interested in watching that video, I will put the thumbnail up on the screen and I'll link it to the end of this video. Because I think that we should have our eyes wide open so that we can see clearly the plot and the schemes of Satan that are front and center in our world today. Let's now look at this article about this whistleblower that went before Congress and see what they had to say. So this is an NBC News article. The headline here is, Here are the five most memorable moments from Congress UFO hearing. And the article is dated July 26, 2023. And most of you know or have heard about this at some point, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this article. There are just some things that I want to point out, so we'll just start reading here. Three former military officials told Congress Wednesday that they believe the government knows much more about UFOs than it is telling the public. A House Oversight Committee held a hearing on UFOs officially known as Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon or UAPs, and heard mystifying testimony about unexplained object sightings and government possession of non-human biological matter. Then it goes on to talk about how the lawmakers were baffled by the testimony that they heard, and, and that these UAP sighting experts say might be attributable to balloons, drones, optical illusions, or even the blinking lights of a commercial airliner. The Pentagon has said that they have seen no evidence linking UAPs to alien activity, though they have not ruled out that explanation. So here are five of the witnesses' main claims from the hearing. They claim that the government is absolutely in possession of UAPs. So this former U.S. intelligence officer, he told the panel 
that he is absolutely certain that the federal government is in possession of UAP citing the interview he said he conducted with 40 witnesses over a four-year period. Now, this man was under oath, and he was a former U.S. intelligence officer that led the Defense Department efforts to analyze reported UAP sightings. I guess we could say that he is a credible witness, and he went on to say that he believes that the government has misappropriation of funds that have been used to fund these programs. And so what he's claiming is that it was put in the budget and then used for something else. And they go on to say that there are non-human biologics found at crash sites. And so this is the same man. He is claiming that they have interviewed individuals who have recovered non-human biologics from crashed UAPs. The next headline is officials must establish a safe and transparent reporting process. And so they are wanting to open these clear channels for, you know, communication to come out to the public and to the military about these things. And this former Navy pilot, he told the panel that the military pilots, they do not feel that they are adequately briefed on these UAPs, which he said leads them to feel unprepared to respond to the UAP encounters, which I guess is why they're claiming that it is a national security threat. Because as we see down here, they claim that this is both on the commercial side and the military side. I guess commercial planes are also witnessing these from their testimony. And then down here, it talks about the stigma associated with these possible witnesses. They're saying that people don't want to come forward because of alleged harassment. And they're saying that this is silencing pilots because they fear professional repercussions. And so anyway, then as we go down, um, they're stating that the UFO spotted are accelerating to supersonic speed. So they talk about this tic-tac shaped um, object that was seen in the sky in 2004 and how it moved and how it vanished. And they're saying that the technology that they faced is far superior to anything that we have in our military and that there is nothing that they can do about it. There's no way they can stop it. They can't even keep up with them. So that is what this article contains. And just like I mentioned earlier, the UK is now speaking the same thing as America. It is funny how many of the Western countries are all speaking the same narrative these days. Let's take a look at what they are saying. And this is an article from Sky News, and like I said, we're just going to look at the headline. This is from Thursday, July 27, 2023, and we can see that the UK is saying that they are not doing enough to investigate UFOs, and basically they're wanting their government to do more in these UFO sightings because of what is being talked about in the U.S. So I just wanted to show you these articles to go along with what I'm saying and in case any of you have missed the news because I know I personally do not watch a lot of news that you would have a little bit of background of what exactly I was talking about. The other day my husband put on a documentary and if I can find the link I will share it down in the description below but it is of a retired military man and he was involved in interviewing an alien that our government supposedly had. Now this man's face, it was completely blacked out and he would not give his name, but what he said really shocked me because this man was not a Christian man, but more of a scientist. And he said these aliens or extraterrestrial beings do not speak with their mouth, but they use telepathic abilities to communicate. He said they do not seem afraid of death, and maybe it is because they have a greater understanding of where they will go, or maybe it is because 
when they die, they go back to where they came from. The interviewer man said to him, what exactly are you saying? Are you saying they are spiritual beings like angels or fallen angels? The man replied, it is possible that they are spirits or what some would call demons that are in some kind of body that has been built. Now, this just completely blew my mind because think about how we communicate with God. We know God, he is a spirit. And when we pray, even when we pray in our heads, he can hear us. And these things, they are talking to people through thought projection, which is something that psychics use. Friends, I am telling you, as I have been telling you for some time now, that all of this talk of aliens, it is just pure demonic. And whatever our government is communicating with, these beings, they are fallen angels or demons. They are not good. No matter how they try to spin it to us, we must not fall into this trap. I hope that this video has brought this narrative being pushed in our world today into a perspective for you. Friends, more than ever, we need to separate ourselves from this world. I am going to be doing a video over CBDC and the Mark of the Beast. And we are going to look into how technology and money, how they are just coming together in a way that now allows us to see clearly the control that one world power will have over the people to stop them from being able to buy, sell, or trade if they do not submit to the authority. You know, it's just like in the book of Daniel. It's pretty amazing when you think about everything in the Bible and what we are seeing today. And that is why I believe it is so important to know your Bible, the New and the Old Testament, because they go together to give us a perfect picture. We have the Holy Spirit of God that lives inside of us, and he is speaking and pouring his spirit out upon all flesh until we be removed out of the way, as the scripture states. And I believe that we would be wise to listen to what the spirit of God is saying and be led by him down that narrow path that leads us to Jesus. The path is so narrow, the Bible tells us that few find it. And I pray that all of you who are listening to me today, that you find that narrow path that leads to eternal salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to remind you to not fail to put on the whole armor of God, just as Ephesians 6 tells us, so that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, we must put on this armor every day because the attacks we are facing are all in our minds and it is just propaganda to confuse the masses. We must protect our minds and keep them guarded in the truth of God and his holy word. Aliens are demonic entities and I am convinced of this from everything that I have heard about them. Just think about what we know about them. They are extraterrestrials. They are not of this world. They do not speak with words like I mentioned earlier. They use telepathic abilities, which proves that they are spiritual beings because that is how we communicate with God through our minds. And I want you to think about it. How does the devil talk to people? Many times he comes as a thought. Ask yourself, how did Satan enter Judas's heart to betray Jesus? I think we should be very careful getting swept up into this phenomenon because it is of Satan. And I believe it is leading us right into all things being fulfilled in the scriptures. 
Before I leave you today, I want to mention that I have some great studies that the Holy Spirit has given me recently coming out. So don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss them when they come out. I've noticed that over half the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So make sure that you click that subscribe button. And I will see you again Tuesday for Bible study. I hope that you can join me then. Until next time, take care and stay in the word.